Guys, all the cars that you see in these videos are for sale on my website, www.woodsandbarclay.com. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, I'm over at Scott's. We came to check out the 1981 300 SD. He's probably 75% done. And 85% 85. 85 done. <laughs> What's up, Scott? Hey. And you can see he's got all the uh, badges off the back. Ah, oh, feel that paint. <laughs> oh, he's doing the, doing the windows now to get my grimy fingerprints off of there. Wow, man. Scott, this paint looks amazing. I know a guy. You know a guy. Guys, all the anodized aluminum has been polished. Look how good that came out. It's basically been cleaned. That that just brings it just brings back what they what they looked like originally. There was not really any repair from the polishing. It just shines them up, makes them look really nice. You see there's no cloudiness. Wow, look how good that paint looks. Uh, we'll come back when he's finished and do a complete walk around. But And look how that bumper cleaned up. Polished all the chrome. Cleaned the little core support area. We got the trickle charger on the battery while it's been in the shop with the doors open. So <clears throat> he's actually over here cleaning on this seat now. There you can see he's got the floor mats out over here. There you go. See, see you can see the dirt in the seat here. He'll clean it up so it looks like that one over there. Let's go look at the carpets over here. Man, you did more than right. This thing is, this thing's incredible. Oh, cool. He's got the original floor mats covered. Oh, this is the passenger side over here. Yeah, very nice. That came out awesome. Well, I'm going to run back over to my shop and finish up on a project. And then Scott should be done in a few hours and we'll do a final video. All right, guys. We've been over at Scott's shop for the last few hours uh, doing the final touches on the 81 300 SD. And this car has come out amazing. There are, you can see the badges are back on here. It's just wax right here. And you can see we're just doing the final wax back here. But the, uh, the badges are back on. Look at that paint, you guys. That's remarkable. That's the original single stage paint from 1981 and Scott's about to uh, even though it it looks clean in the photos here Scott's about to uh, buff and polish on the hood sand. oh you're you're gonna sand on the hood and mm -hmm. that's why the plastic is up here what is it the Zer Zertex what did you call it Trizac Tri I knew it had a Z in it <laughs> Zertex isn't that like a depression medicine <laughs> <laughs> Scott, Scott buffs the cars with his Zyrtex depression medicine. Trizac. So Scott's gonna Trizac on the hood, and even though it looks good, that'll that'll take out some little, some minor imperfections. Like I see one, like right. It's so hard to see on camera. It's so subtle, but. I just want this this car to be as perfect as we can get it. <laughs> the, the, the final depression, <laughs> depressing buffing stage. Let's fall asleep on the hood. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, show this interior. Let me hang the light up in here for you guys. All right, guys, we got the detail light hung up here for you, and this interior just came out incredible. 
this is like a museum piece, man. Uh, the wood's not even faded or cracked yeah, or anything. Yeah. The interior had to be cleaned by hand because you couldn't scrub on it. You clean it by hand using uh, a some damp, damp towel with a uh, the cleaner I've used for years. This is uh, and that this is the real leather, guys. That is the original leather. It has not been re-dyed or anything. This is the original stuff. Look, look at the condition of this. It's incredible. Here you go. Look in here at the wood. That that's as good as it gets, guys. When you find one of these cars in this condition, it doesn't get any better than that. The dash. Man, this just cleaned up incredible. The door panels. The floor mats are, uh, those all have been vacuumed and wrapped. Of course, the mats underneath have also been cleaned. Power cleaned. Cleaned with the orbital. Let's walk over here. There's another view, guys. Look at that. Polished all the wood trim. And look at the gauge cluster. There's, there's not even any fading on the numbers or dials. This, this was never parked outside. It's pretty obvious, and these seats are just beautiful. That's not MB Techs, guys. That's the real leather. Here, let's show them the back seat. There we go, guys. Look how the back seat came out. A lot of guys ask what the little dents are in the back seats. Guys, that's a button behind the leather you press that button and then you can remove the headrest that's what those indentions are <clears throat> below the seat back nets they're not even faded back here the back seat cleaned up so nice original floor mats are covered carpets have been cleaned like i said this is this is probably as good as it gets guys guys what we're about to do now is apply this worth it's a uh, rubber care it's for like the uh, uh gaskets around the doors and what this stuff does it keep, scott will keeps, you, keeps the gaskets soft you want to spray some on and show them while i'm i'm filming sorry go ahead you said what it keeps the it keeps them soft and supple because on a lot of these cars with age the gasket seals around the doors they'll oh. turn white and this adds the color back and makes them soft again. You just wipe it along there. And it just penetrates into the, uh, to the rubber and keeps it soft. See how nice that looks? Keeps it from cracking is what it does. Yeah. And then you just take a damp towel and wipe off the excess. And the rubber will actually like, this stuff will actually soak into the rubber. Sometimes you have to do multiple coats. Yeah. Well, this one's been done more than once. <clears throat> but it just kept soaking it up. And then once it doesn't soak it up anymore, you know you've got enough on there. There you go. Yeah. Very nice. So it's going to soak that in. There we go. It's already starting to look better. It, it brings the black back gets any kind of cloudiness out of there yeah very nice look at that and here we we applied the worth uh leather condition i mean gasket conditioner back here too look at these gaskets how good they are I mean, that's basically brand new, guys. That's remarkable. Ooh la la. <laughs> this stuff is great, guys. This is just... 
Guys, this makes the finish look absolutely incredible. And then you provide a, like a protective sealant over the top and then, you know, wax and all that. And it'll, as long as you keep your car garaged, it'll last for a long time. All right, guys, here's uh, the next step, a buffing pad on the random orbital. And this is a buffing compound. It's probably very fine grit. And this is the finishing touch. And when we wipe this off, it will look absolutely incredible. All right, guys, you can see he is finished on this side. Look at that. But now he's uh, finishing up on this side over here. I'm telling you. That is the magic trick on these cars. It makes the original single stage paint look absolutely incredible. And there we go, guys. Look at that. If you're looking for a brand new 1981 300 SD, here it is. Look how beautiful that came out. There you go. That's the roof of the shop. <laughs> Scott, this may be the best one yet. <laughs> what do How you many think? Times have you said that? I don't know. Every one of them is so amazing. I know a guy. Scott, what do you think of this one? Well, it's one of the nicest ones I've ever worked on. Really? As far as the uh, 126 body goes. Yeah, this is this is some of our best work, man. I spent months working on this thing. Okay, so you sanded it 1,000, then you did the... 1,000 dry, 2,000 dry, and then 3,000 trizac. And after you do the sanding, then I saw you, you were buffing it? Yeah, yeah and two different compounds. A heavy cut compound, which turns into a polish. And then a microfine cutting compound, which gets rid of the uh, swirls and stuff from the heavy cut compound. And then after all that's done, it has to be protected. I have to put a, I'm going to take a foam pad polish to it and then sealant, then seal it. sealant and wax basically. Yep. And guys, we don't do any of the uh, ceramic coating or whatever the latest trends are. This is just your, oil. your old school, how you detail a car, cut, buff, polish. So now we're putting on the sealing wax. And uh, guys, this is just good old car wax. There you go, Meguiar's wax. And the reason we don't use ceramic coat is, I mean, that's like the latest trend. A ceramic coat actually, it, it like bonds molecularly into the paint. And to get it off, you have to sand the car. There is no miracle removal, wipe off the ceramic coat. You and literally have to sand the car just like I did to get that stuff off. Now with a, with a good wax and polish, you just it's just maintenance. You know, every how often do you think you should wax? As long as these are garage kept, how how long do you have to reapply it if it's garage kept? Technically, wax lasts. It'll beat up for a good two and a half months, and it'll last. I mean, according, six months according to the you know the. The people that I deal with that sell the stuff to me, it's good for seven months. Okay. Just because it's not beating up doesn't mean it's not there. Now, if you drive the car through a car wash, the car wash will take that stuff right off. So and avoid it, car washes and wash your car by hand. Wash them by hand. Now, to explain why we don't use ceramic coat. Like, what's the latest thing they're trying to sell now? The ceramic coat uh, uh, rejuvenator or... Yeah. Uh, it's a restore. Yeah, ceramic coat restore. Well, if, this, if the coating is supposed to last five or ten years, then why do you need to restore the ceramic coat? Yeah, that's that's the latest craze. It's know? it's just the latest trend, guys. This is how you, how cars have been detailed for the last, what, hundred years? Yeah, I mean, wax, buff, polish, clean. The 1800s. And, and this is just the old school correct way to do it. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need, you know, the latest ceramic coating. It's unnecessary. I've been, I've been doing this since I was 14. I'm 58. And in the time that I've been doing this, 
in the probably the past 25 years, there have been multiple products that have come out that you're never going to have to go to the detail shop again. It's your car is never going to scratch. The finish is always going to be good. It it's just a gimmick. It, it's the latest in snake oil, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's that's my opinion. And you know, don't get me wrong. It, it's going to look good if you put ceramic coat on your car. But it, it's really there's no reason you can't just do the old school car detailing. I've I've had customers that had black show cars. One guy had a late fifties Cadillac convertible. Another guy has a, a SS Camaro from '68. And they had the ceramic coat done, and they said it's never supposed to water spot or streak or anything. And both those guys got stuck one day, leaving their cars outside, and both of them had water damage. And they're like, well, they told us it's not supposed to do that. That's, I don't know what to tell you. I know how to fix it, but I, you know, they're supposed to guarantee their work. And you know, if you apply the stuff, you should back it. But you should also know more about the product other than what they're pitching to you at, I, all, at all these clinics. I'm I'm a old school, you know, wax fan. It uh, to me that's the best way to do it. All right. You want to argue with me? Fine. So this is officially done. Yeah, man, that that feels amazing. This this car never felt like this even from the dealership. No. That, I mean, that is absolutely incredible. See, that's almost completely 100% orange peel free now. Yeah, that is so absolutely... It's, like, it's like a sheet of glass. Good Lord. The whole car is like this, you guys. Okay, this is probably one of the longest detail videos I've done just because I like this car so much. So, anyway... I'm not going to bore you guys with more. Hope you enjoyed all that, and uh, hope you enjoyed listening to Scott's rant, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>